Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. I am on the phone today because I forgot my camera and I've been all over the place this morning. So, you might be able to see the trailer behind me. I've got six new cows on the trailer um, and I've got another five I've got to go pick up after I drop these off. So, it's a hot one today. We didn't get any rain when a lot of other people did in the area. So, it's dusty, it's dry, and it is hot. The sad thing is, it's the coolest day like the 10-day forecast so I guess this is the best day to haul cows when I'm going to but anyway I'm gonna pull up here and try to get these try to get these cows unloaded all right we're out with the rest of the cows they're curious so they're running out here to see what's going on um, here's back three not go as planned. I tried to drop the new ones off away from the electric fence. That way they could still run around because they always do when you drop them off. Um, that way they had room to run around and hopefully not run through the electric fence and tear everything up. And of course that's exactly what they did. So they ran probably a quarter mile, ripped through the main electric fence, which uh, had two other wires on it, which are now broken. Um, but I've already, I've already wound that up. Since they broke through into a whole nother pasture, the rest of the herd has started grazing on some Johnson grass. Um, it's been 10, 15 minutes. It seems like the new ones have partially calmed down. So they're all grazing. The two red ones, they were actually the calmest ones. I walked up here, they were already drinking water. They weren't really too afraid of me at all. All the black ones though, they, uh, they were not too fond of me walking, so. They're fine with the pickup, I think, but um, it's going to take them a little while to get used to me walking around here. All right, we've got load number two. Um, so far, just from loading these new cows, there weren't any wild ones this time, which is a plus. A couple kickers, but that's nothing we can't deal with. The cows have made their way pretty far now that there's no electric fence holding them. So um, anyway, I'm going to drop these off. Hopefully they don't go run around like crazy like the other batch. This group didn't run off at all. They just started walking. That one there is just grazing. I guess there's just a couple wild ones in that first load. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give them a couple hours to calm down, figure out where their boundaries are, and uh, then I'll come back this evening and show you guys the new ones if they'll let me get close enough. So before I show you the new group of cows, I'm actually here with the cows at home. Um, I'm gonna try to move them into a new pasture. Like I said, it is pretty dry here, so we're trying to slow down our moves. Um, and we've got this one Bermuda pasture we've kind of been holding on to, and it's time to put them in there. So, um, sounds like the cows are ready to move. We're gonna be putting them in there. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Well guys, the cows all found their way in here. And uh, this is actually a field we cut earlier in the summer. And as you can see, it's a lot of fescue and clover in here. And it actually recovered nicely. Um, but what we were hoping would happen, since this field is mostly fescue, it does have Bermuda in it. And we were hoping once we cut it, um, when the heat kicked in, we'd get a lot of Bermuda coming up. And uh, the Bermuda did come up. You might be able to see a tiny bit of it in there. Um, but we just didn't get the rain for it to really take off. So, so we were going to save this field and maybe get a second cutting of Bermuda off of it. But that just didn't happen. So um, anyway, the cows love grazing a field after it's been cut for hay and had time to recover. They're eating all fresh growth. And uh, yeah, they just love it. Um, haven't showed you the bulls in a while. These are the home raised ones. There's one of them there. This one here is just a tank. These two are both young. They've only got 30 cows to cover total in this group. But uh, I think they're doing the job. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with those two. Uh, one did get a little pink eye, so that one's probably going to end up going too, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I've spent too long talking out here. It's about to get dark, and I still need to go to the rental farm. I'm going to show you guys then before it's too dark for this camera to pick anything up. So, so dumped them some more mineral. And I uh, think there's only three new ones that actually came to check it out. So that Hereford there is a new one, second stage bred, six year old. Yeah, none of the other new ones came to check them out. And then here are some of the other new ones. Um, most of these are going to be broke mouth and second or third stage bred. So these are old cows. They should be having a calf here in the next three to six months. The third stage ones, obviously, they could have a calf in the next three months. Here's another one, broke mouth. She's second stage. Red cow, there's a new one. She's third stage and she's a six year old, but she is on the smaller side. She weighed 900 pounds, I think. And then the yellow one there is also a new one. She's a beef master. And I think she was third stage. Yep. Six-year-old third stage. Um, they sold eight or ten in the group, and I wish I could have taken them all, but she was the only one that went cheap enough. So, um, so now I've got three Beefmaster cows. This one, one of the red ones here, and the new one there. And I'm still missing some, so now I'm kind of worried. It wasn't gone that long, but hopefully they didn't break through a bunch of fences. Hopefully I just didn't see them in the grass here. There's two more. See, so yeah, maybe they didn't run off too far. There's the first one I bought at the bay. Six year old, second stage. Um, she's the wildest one, I think. Then here I've got another broke mouth. Old cow, second stage. And then another thing I haven't showed you. Um, there were two Charlet heifers left to calve, and both of them calved. You can see that one there. Um, obviously, they're a little late, but they did at least calve. They weren't third stage like they said they were, but still got a live calf out of them and didn't have to help them, so that's always a plus. 